number 10. Fourth quarter now, Cedar Creek back in the red zone. Smith to the back of the end zone. C.J. McAfee makes the leaping catch. McAfee hauls it in to put the Pirates back in front. It's now 25-21. Number nine. Just over two minutes left. Homedale gets their chance to win it. The header's on target. Pires steers it over the bar. Wow, a huge clutch save by Carson Pires with the game on the line. Take another look. Pires not distracted by the player going for the ball. 80 minutes of soccer. We're deadlocked at one. Number eight. Late in the first, Morgan Koch showing you why she's been such a force all season long. Koch getting big in the box, going to take the whole defense with her as she scores to draw first blood for Pennington as 15 minutes remain. Number seven. Later in the fourth, Notre Dame is back in the red zone. Serace buys some time, throws on the run, and Max Pelzer comes down with it for six. Great concentration from the sophomore on the tip drill. The Fighting Irish make it a three-point game. Number six. Highlands back in the red zone to start the fourth. Nate Johnson floats it up to all reliable and Fred Canning doing more tiptoeing than a thief in the night hauls in the 17 yard touchdown. What a grab, we have to run that back. Highlanders go up 28-19, five seconds in. Number five. 44th minute, Lauren Servals on the free kick from 55 yards out. McGregor times it perfectly. She heads it in. And Amanda McGregor has her second goal of the match. Take another look at this one. Servels with a marvelous service, and McGregor flies into the net with the ball. Middletown South with a 2-0 lead. Number four. You can tell that early Pennington goal lit a fire under the Gray Bees. Two minutes later, Amadou Han comes through with an absurd finish. Wow! Han is a star in the making. We run it back. The freshman expertly plays the ball back to himself for a spectacular goal. 12th minute here, it's 2-1 St. Benedict's. Number three. Second half, the Lancers put together a sound attack. A sweet spin move sets up Daniela Diani, and from 27 yards out, she buries a magnificent strike. Diani uncorks one heck of a shot. Livingston goes up 1-0 in the 52nd minute thanks to this blast from their senior. Number two. It all comes down to this. Mount Olive trailing 28-27. The Marauders turn to Izzy Kolbus for a 20-yard field goal with under 10 seconds left. The snap is high, but Izzy gets the kickoff, and it's girl power for the win. Mount Olive punches its ticket to the North 2 Group 4 Championship with a 30-28 win. Colbus plays lag football in the spring. She's the hero in the fall with the guys. Woo! And the number one play of the week. Pennington continued to work even with that one goal lead in their back pocket. It led to plays like this. Bakari Tanjagora brings down the house with an elite strike. Are you kidding me? The junior delivers maybe the goal of the year in New Jersey. It is deserving of another look. Bakari Tanjagora could not have hit it better if he tried. Pennington now leads 4-2 with 25 minutes to play.